Thanks so much here with Vince McCogliano, who covers the Rangers for Loha.com and USA Today. Vince, a crazy overtime win, 6-5. to five. Uh, How do you describe what that third period was like? I'm honestly having trouble putting it into words for my story. I'm trying to figure that out right now. But it was wild because the first two periods, for most of that time, it really felt like the Rangers were not on top of their game. They were hemmed in their own zone a lot. The Flyers had the vast majority of the shots on goal, the possession. And then it felt like the Rangers woke up in the third period. Now, the defense was still shaky. You heard a lot of the players talk about that after the game, but it felt like they just scratched and clawed and kept fighting. The game was tied four times in the third period alone. The Rangers took the lead three different times in the third period, and yet they kept going back and forth and back and forth. So not the prettiest game they've played all season, but it shows that resiliency that we find ourselves always talking about with this team, where, where they always just seem to find a way. Yeah, it sure did show resiliency, and they're the first NHL team this season to clinch a playoff spot, and to be completely candid, my primary sport is baseball so when they clinched I fully expected to go in that locker room see some champagne showers at least some excitement or some music but it was a very subdued reaction why is that yeah, I mean, part of that is hockey culture, I guess. Like, I haven't seen them do that in the regular season a lot. But another part of it is this team has much bigger goals. We know that. They're disappointed with the way that the season ended last year. That bitter taste in their mouth from that first-round loss to the Devils has stuck with them all summer, all season long. So they have bigger fish to fry, quite frankly. And that's why I think you're seeing a team that is still very much focused on what's ahead. And even though I think there is an appreciation for what they've accomplished this season, and it's been a great season for them, they know that they will ultimately be judged by what they do in the playoffs, and that is very much still to come. Towards the end of that game, Coach was juggling the lines a little bit. Do you think that they plan to experiment with that in these final 10 games? No, quite honestly, I don't because you've seen Laviolette. He does that late in games when he thinks the team needs a spark, but he always seems to go back to the lines that got them here. And he said that after the game as well. That, I think, has been something the players appreciate, having that consistency from him, knowing the lines are usually going to look the same from one game to the next. And I think that especially with the trade deadline uh, additions that they brought in and how those guys have slotted into some of those open spots, I don't think he's going to want to change a whole lot moving forward. I think he's going to want to stick with what got him here, and I think that that's what what you're going to see as they roll into the playoffs. Well, the Rangers uh, do have their work cut out for them because on Thursday they head to Colorado to play the Avalanche, and that's a tough team as well. So, Vince, thank you so much. We appreciate it.